Mike, are you there? Mike Perlman from Nora. I'm here. Can you National hear me? Off-Road Racing Association. How you doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. I'm a little cold out here. I got a heater going behind me. And I'm going to tell you a little story about how Nora got started. And uh, back when I was 19 years old, uh, it was just a, a fun deal we had. And it turned into what it turned into. And so back in the day, my dad had a little hot rod. Yeah. And he had a Toyota Land Cruiser FJ4. And this was a, his hot rod. He put a V8 in it. And he had a dad ran a flower shop. He was in the flower business. And we used to drag race in the parking lot and off road. No, we didn't off road because the word off road was never there. We went on the fire roads, we went on the dirt roads. And he read a little article in the Tarzana newspaper about how Bud Eakins, Dave Eakins, Cliff Coleman, and Eddie Mulder, one of our, our favorite grand marshals, set a record from Tijuana to La Paz on Triumph motorcycles. So he uh, said, oh, I could beat that in my Land Cruiser. I'm, I'm a hot rodder, okay. So dad, Got his Land Cruiser ready, put a brand new V8 in it. The one behind me that you can see, I think you can see nice. it. Nice. That's cool. I restored it. it. It sat in my backyard for 50 years or more. Trees growing through it. I finally restored it. This was his little hot rod. He went out to buy some wide tires and he couldn't find them anywhere. They didn't make them back then. This is in 1967. Okay. I was so two back then. A little article in the Los Angeles newspaper where some guy was selling farm implement tires out of his garage. Okay. So he said, do you have six of them? And the guy goes, yeah, I'll get six of them. And he went to buy the six. And the guy said, well, you want me to be co-driver? You can have them for free. Dad said, okay. So the guy was his co-driver. So they went down. They had a great time. They didn't break the record, but they had a great time. And when they got back, dad said, I'm going to promote a little event. If we can only get like six cars, we could have fun down there. And the other guy said, well, I'm going to, I'm going to sell off road tires. Okay. So they came back and dad started to put together this uh, organization to bring on an event in Baja, the first event. And uh, the first thing he did was we, we need a rule book. So we called the National Road Racing Association and they came over and they were gonna help him with a rule book. And we were standing in the parking lot, I was there. Cliff, a um, couple of other guys were there from the National Road Racing association they said first thing is we need a name for this new kind of racing dirt racing fire road racing and i kept i was the little kid there i was 19 and these guys were adults i was going dad dad wait a minute you can't use the word road it's not on the road it's off the road it's work i had a vision of the road and a dirt road and we were off of the road. We couldn't use the word road. I said, we're off the road. And dad goes, well, that's, that's a good, that's, yeah, we're off the road. <laughs> nice. And everybody kind of shook their head and we went, oh, that's kind of like offshore racing. That doesn't sound quite right. Okay, let's think about it. So everybody went home. The next day I came into dad's little office there and here Pete Condos, dad's partner and dad had their, legs up on the desk and yeah we're drawing pictures of nora this was pete's girlfriend's name back in the day and that's the new name the national off-road racing association nice okay dad great okay perfect so it took off from there i just so wanted to say thank you are. for coining the phrase off-road because we could be sitting here watching the fire road racing sponsorship summit and i don't think that would really be the same I think off-road is the way to do it. This is all about dirt and off-road and thank you so much.